Hello and welcome back to the Fifth Unit Podcast. Uh, we've had a bit of a minor break because we moved houses and Marcus lives nowhere near us anymore and he had all the equipment. Indeed. But we made a massive investment, well not a massive investment, we put, put some money in and here we are in the lounge of a house in Brighton recording a podcast for your ears with my friends who are in the team. Who's that? Uh, my name is Jamie. Uh, I'm Dylan. And I'm James. I'm Chris, again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just. I want every single one. Is the, yeah, we live in Brighton now. How weird is that? Well, half the. Well, how many of the team in Brighton? Five. Uh, yeah, well, five. so Finn's in Hove. Yeah. Um, Brighton. We live here. Yes. So, so four. Five. So five. Oh, and me. So five. five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, me. I live here. Yeah, so five yeah. of us. So, are you recently me? Oh, blah, blah, blah. So we recently moved in, what recently, in January, me, Jamie, no, me, Jamie, and Finn moved into this house with Dylan's girlfriend, Sarita, and Joe from the Scruffy Boys, um, and so that's why we live in Brighton now, basically literally five minutes from the station, not going to tell you the address, because I know how creepy people can be. Not even five minutes, mate, yeah. say three minutes. Three minutes, <laughs> at Jamie Morris walk, it's three minutes, <laughs> which is a pretty brisk walk. Um... So we're basically near all the cool spots and not yeah. the bad ones. Um, and then Dylan basically moved in because his girlfriend lives here. So he lives with us as well. Yeah. His parents live like 20 minutes away in Shoreham. And then Je- Finn moved out to move to Hove with his gym homies because gym's better than parkour, apparently. Mm. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sorry. Um And then James moved in to here as well. So now we've got a whole gang together. Isn't it? Almost. No, we're, missing, we're missing Harvey, Marcus and Ethan. Yeah. Oh, we've got majority. Arguably some of the best people in the gang. Yeah. Definitely. So. Yeah, but at least we don't have the same problem that Scruffy Boys have. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Some of them live in different me. countries. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Big. Joe lives here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and Cormac lives here. And then <clears throat> the rest of them live other places. Dodds was going to live in Barcelona, but that didn't go through. One of them lives in New Zealand, which is literally the opposite side of the world. Trust me. Yeah. yeah. Big up for Will. And like, um, so how's everyone found living in Brighton and training? I know I love it. It's so good. I also love it. It is so great. It's oh, been a. It's, been, it's definitely been nice, like changing the home turf. You know what I mean? Because your baseline for challenges sort of increases with where you go. Yeah, I think so too. I think well, it does. It, I think it increases. It wait. Do you say your baseline for challenges increases? Yeah. Or changes? Well definitely changes and in my case for Brighton has increased okay yeah I think it, de- it definitely changes mine hasn't necessarily increased but like it changes like you change challenges that are your staple challenges so for indoor- exactly. example in Dorking I had like there was like the grill plier that we all always did mm. that's like a base challenge it's like okay that's like a power level that I can do and then in Brighton there's like other ones like at Sainsbury spot which is around the corner uh, that I know I can do as well like at the same like that at the same sort of power level which means that you can like understand where you, how powerful you feel that day. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I don't think mine have increased. They're definitely about the same. Has anyone had any negatives to training here? Um, I mean, yeah. You can- <laughs> I've been like <laughs> injured pretty much the whole time we've been here, so I haven't really been able to like push myself when I've been here in Brian, which has been a bit annoying. But what are you gonna do, eh? I don't know. I've literally just started like actually rehabbing as well. I was neglecting it for a very long time. But yeah, so hopefully I'll That's be back on it soon. I can't wait. I'm Me I want Dylan clips. There's some Dylan clips hidden. There is some Dylan yeah, clips. Yeah, to be fair, I, I have, through them the other day. It's not like I haven't been training in Brighton. I have had like some good, like a good few days where I've actually managed to do shit and not get hurt. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's been sick to be fair. Just like the whole community here is fucking sick as well. I've met so many cool people. Yeah. I think that's been probably the biggest yeah, change that we've experienced. I think, we yeah. used to train very fit unit. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah, we in a chat group. to train in Dorking. You know what I mean? But now we've got a much bigger group chat because I guess we're in a bigger place. We've yeah, well, uh, well, I'm going <laughs> to bait people out. There's one group chat that no one <laughs> fucking talks in. I always put, who wants to train? And literally get like one reply and it's always can't today. Yeah. <laughs> and then we made another group chat with like some of the more active people. But they also it's also just random shit at the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like which is also fun. But at the same time, training guys, I'm dead serious about it. <laughs> you don't retrain. Really yeah, I haven't trained properly in a long, long, long time. <clears throat> I don't really know well, I do know why actually. It's because 
beginning of lockdown, I was working a lot. I was working like I went from like twenty hours a week to like forty five hours a week minimum. And then all of you guys buggered off to Brighton. So I was on my own. <laughs> it was just me and Mum and I didn't want to go training, so I was just like Mum trains. Mum trains with on horses. It's a bit, it's a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, I think like I think the main thing for me has been moving to Brighton has been like a breath of fresh air. I felt very secluded and alone in Dorking for a very long time. It was so shit. But like real shit. Um but now I think like I mean, everyone in the house is always about, like, we're isolated at the moment, which is shit, but, like, at least I get to hang out with everyone. And I then... don't have COVID, guys. I'm invincible. <laughs> I never got it. Chris okay. ain't invincible. He's got COVID, confirmed. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Baited me out. I thought that all flows in the PCR. <laughs> <laughs> fall out. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> she was like, 100% you know? confirmed. <laughs> James works at a COVID testing site down the road, and I literally, like, brought down my PC at my, like, uh, lateral flows. And I had like, they all had like, I, was, like, I just went up to him and like, do you think these are positive? And he was like, you need to go get a PCR. <laughs> I, was, I was like, well, I guess that's it then. <laughs> there was no doubt about it, they were positive. Yeah, they were, they were straight positive. I was just being hopeful. In it. And then mine was negative, and then when we got the PCR test, I got a positive result. Yeah. I'm fuming. <laughs> it's all your fault. Yeah, we yeah, all you know COVID so. doesn't exist, it's a massive government conspiracy, so. We did have Talk a protester about at that. The, <laughs> <laughs> we had a protester at the testing site about a week ago. And I should, you know, she came in with her sign that said, like, I think it's like COVID is a scam or like something along those lines. She walked up to the front gate. Security the security said, smoker? No, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I beg. They so stopped her and said, you can't come in here with that sign. So she put it down in front of security, came in, got a COVID test, went back to the front, took her sign and buggered off. That's so That's what? all she did. Wait, what? That's so, so she, weird. she protested for about two minutes, got a COVID test and then left. What did the sign say? Something online line of COVID is a scam. Well, like COVID's not real or some shit like that. But she's still getting tested. She still got tested, <laughs> yeah. So she must, she must not. That's so know, weird. We were warned. She put like, the effort in. Yeah, security radio through like, oh, we've got protesters. And we were all like, oh. But imagine. Something's kicking off. Right, imagine imagine she nothing. comes in and she starts just fucking shit up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I, like imagine. That would have been so funny. Oh, I would have loved that. She got a tentative result. Uh, what? A positive result. Yeah, a positive result. Like, yeah, she just <laughs> she got goes COVID. In, gets COVID. COVID. <laughs> but she wouldn't think it's real, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, she wouldn't care. Yeah. Yeah, if COVID's a scam, then she don't give a shit about positive results. She well, really. Why is she even getting a test in the first place? God knows. She's prove the it. scam. I'll tell you. No, 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 no. I, 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 I figured out, I figured out. So, what she's doing is she's she's using up the government's, um, what's the word, like, equipment. Resources. Resources, <laughs> that's the one. So they can't scam us any longer. Ah, <laughs> she, she's like, the more of their equipment I use, the less they can they yeah. can scam me. Yeah. Well, she's all she's doing is forcing me to make more test kits out of bag. Oh, oh, I don't do that. That's a long thing. Yeah, I assume the, the purpose of this podcast is just, I don't know, shoot the shit. Catch up with the homies and uh, yeah, got well, a few topics just, that we wanted to. Well, the topics are mostly just brief rundowns of like, for example, we live in Brighton now. It's a massive change to well, for me, it's been a bloody big change. Yeah, um, huge change. Why do people keep coming into our house? Yeah, whilst I've been training, I've been uh, practicing vape trick. <laughs> 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 he's getting pretty good he's getting pretty gnarly it's better than catching check cases. this one out we call it the flying dragon uh. <laughs> 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 see that flame brief interlude to talk to our housemates because they have their own lives and we're interested apparently well not me ish, yeah. like, ish. <laughs> not a lot. we say that but didn't really have a big conversation they also don't like us so they left yeah, but yeah, James is getting back into training. <laughs> That's gonna be sweet. I really like Brighton, but controversial opinion. I think the spots are overrated. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that is, a that is quite. Yeah, no, I don't know if I, I agree I, with that. Okay, well, I don't know wrong. if I agree with that. I would not say overrated at all. You wouldn't say overrated. I think I they would, are rated would, exactly would, for what they are. Uh, nah, yeah. I wouldn't say so. Really? Oh, anyone who doesn't live here. I'd say anyone who doesn't live here All right. uh, bigs up spots that are not that good. Totally different so argument example, though. But that's the thing. Living here is one thing and coming to train at the spots for one day but the is majority, But the thing. majority of people that will give you an opinion on it don't live here. Yeah. So that's, so that's why it's overrated because the most of the people don't understand like, they're like, you know, they don't get to train here every day so they don't understand that like, you know, doing one challenge at a spot every single time you go there isn't fun yeah why, why do you think it's overrated though what do you think is well, overrated about the spots mini spot big why overrated it? not like it's you know it's great to warm up there's a lot there's a lot of challenges a lot of shit to yeah, do which is shit. good which is nice 
but none of it's like actually like you can you can prep all of it till you know to your heart's content. You want, to your heart's yeah. content. You can literally the running pre the like the classic big running pre there. You can literally just crane that a million times. You know what I mean? I like no I risk. Like, I like spots where it's like you either you know. Okay. You have to like you have to like I don't know. Does it not? You've got to go for it. In terms of talking about overrated, does it not say mini spot? Is it not called mini <laughs> spot? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like what? I think mini, I don't think mini spots overrated. I think it's been done like I think everything's been done there. Like I think it's very hard to find a new like exciting thing but I think for what it is it's pretty much a perfect spot like yeah but well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah it is I a mean, mini spot but but, but but the, the thing is when people come here they're like where do you want to I'm like where do you want to go they're like mini spot it's because they don't yeah, cause it's an iconic, yeah I know yeah, like, I don't want to go there yeah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> but I do but only when I want to do something specific I don't want to like I don't know I don't enjoy going there every day that's yeah. for sure. and then also meeting place meeting place is so far away from all the other spots and there's literally one cool jump there. Disagree with one cool jump. Well, okay, disagree. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, not, yeah, that's not. That's an over exa- over exaggeration. But I know what you mean. mean. Yeah. We always trek it all the way down to meeting place so someone can do the running pre. Yeah. And it's like, I, I don't mind, but at the same time, like I'd rather go to like somewhere where the walls aren't this high, or there's one big jump. Yeah. You know what I mean? There are some cool stuff there. Like there's the gaps over the stairs where you can do like the dive com and stuff. But like they're not actually that like big. But when we first lived here, were we not running up meeting place and mini spot way more than we are now? Yeah. Yeah. But again, that's because I didn't really know. I didn't really know the other spots. If well, that yeah. makes sense. Like now that I know the majority of those spots. Granted, I will say the one thing is that when people come here, they usually come in big groups. And the reason you can't go to the what I class as the the more exciting spots for me or the better spots for me is because they're so small. Mm. So you go to them with big groups, and then you just like no one does anything, no one does anything or like one get person's kicked. doing anything, or you get kicked off. Yeah. So like that is that is the main thing I'd say. That's the main drawback. All the like better spots are either really small or they're at schools. So like Stringer is a school, so you can only go on a weekend. I'd say Stringer is one of my favorite spots. But we are surrounded by so even if Brighton may be overrated, we're surrounded by like Hove, fucking yeah, Port Slade. Um, yeah, no, I agree with that. Salt yeah. Dean, Rotting Dean. I think those places are underrated. Yeah. So that's yeah. the difference. Because people come to Brian and they're like, oh yeah, let's train all these classic spots. Yeah. And I'm like, maybe I'd rather people were like, let's go, go Hove or something like that because the, the spots are quite different and they're like, I don't know. Like, for example, the spot outside Josh's house is crazy good. Good way. I think it's really good. And there's like two bits to it. There's actually like another bit around the corner. We should train the front. I know, we yeah, should train, train the other bit around the corner. There's another bit? Yeah, yeah man. man. We yeah, never train it. We never train it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even sure what spot Josh's house is. It's just like the grey, like, proper, like, thick, chunky walls that are, like, jaggedy. Oh, how do we explain? When you came to Brian once to get a tattoo, you met us there. Oh, I know the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. quite far into Hove. Yeah. But, so it's, it's just Hove. Um, yeah, and then also, what was I going to say? I only had something thought out. It's gone. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Troublesome. Yeah, I'd say the main, I think, I'd say the better part about Brighton is the community, but I still think it could be bigger. Yeah. I think the community is like quite small still, but actually the community, I, the community is big, but like I said, a lot of people aren't out all the time, and by that I mean that the story guys are a lot of the time just hanging by themselves. Or well, yeah, like doing people thing. like Josh Brady, who is really fucking good and I really like training with, is just really busy all the time. Yeah, which is fair enough. Not everyone can be as free to train as I can. Yeah, <laughs> you're an exception. You do but put every ounce of your energy into being free for training. I quite like how close the community is. Yeah, well, we I think we settled into like one of the groups, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think there's I think there's groups. What are the divisions? So the that's, divisions. That's I'd curious, say yeah. there. So there's like we're obviously the cool kids, right? <laughs> oh, we, oh, mate, we I are. Would expect we so. are the kids. We're the cool kids. We're the best people. <laughs> yeah. And there's like the losers. So there's like, there's, there's, who, there's who we <laughs> hang around with. Yeah. So there's who we hang around with, which is like uh, obviously everyone hangs out with everybody. Like don't don't make it sound like I'm not yeah, trying. No I'm one not, actually hates I'm, anyone. I'm not trying to sound like we actually don't hang out with certain people, but like we all hang out together. It's just that these are like the the main groups if that makes sense so there's all the Storo guys pretty much like they stick to themselves quite a lot or they're like okay like they'll still hang out with us like when they're free they'll come and hang out but most of the time they're together or like they're doing stuff together or with, 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 the, with, yeah, or with their other friends um, and then there's like uh, Tom Taylor who's also part of that like older group Lynn Young is also part of that older group Josh Brady tends to hang out with them a bit more and then there's our side which is more like us lot 
and then like Aiden, uh, Leon, Boyce, Quinn, Joe, just like the younger people who are like Jay, Jay so as well, Sean yeah, Jay. Jay. <laughs> uh, Jay, Jay, Jay's like in between, but I'd say Jay's like in both groups quite well. Like he's literally like hangs yeah, out with them yeah. a lot, and then will come out and hang out with us all the time, uh, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So those are I'd say those are like the two main two main groups, and then there's the, the little kids. Who are like fit? What well, I don't know. Actually, John, how old is Lewis coming? He must be like eighteen now. Um, I think they're like seventeen. They're like a now nah, because maybe we've seen him in patterns. Oh we've yeah. Seen him in <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he must be that was so now. crazy. Yeah, he must be eighteen because we went clubbing and he was there, <laughs> <laughs> and that was just one of the craziest things in the world because I thought he was like fifteen, and then he was just in patterns in the smoking area. Um, yeah, so young gun man. Those guys who hang out with all the proven guys and Yannick, who is also very fucking good. Yannick and Joel, I think, are really fucking good. And I can't wait to see how good they get. Um, Am I inserting instas and clips and stuff? To this bit? If, no, you don't have to. No, do. okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I think that, yeah, so they're like the younger group, you know what I mean? Then it's our group, which is like kind of like middle, mm. uh, which is like those lot, like what the people I just said. And then it's like the Stora guys and like Tom Taylor and like Lynn Young, like the older like side of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why I'd say it's split into like those groups. So it, as a whole, there's like a big group of people that train here, but in terms of like who trains with who or like when people are hanging out and stuff like that, like general vibes, it's like three separate yeah. things, which is cool. Again, I enjoy hanging out with everybody, but literally everyone who lives here, it's just, that's just the way it is. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. 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 It's just, yeah. Cause they were here first. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. I don't yeah. think that's what it is. Like, that's not what it I is, but that's like, how it's formed. Not the maturity, but like where people are in, the, yeah. in their lives. And also obviously like, for example, we've known each other like, fucking like well I've known him his whole life I've known you guys like probably <laughs> pl- plus of like 10 years yeah yeah well, to be fair really well, well I haven't been friends for 10 years <clears throat> but no what well, alright Jamie you, sorry but, <laughs> well you used to coach me mate yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah that's true actually that would yeah. be weird so I definitely wasn't friends with you I literally <laughs> don't remember you when I coached you I no but Dylan. I remember I you pretty... so clearly yeah, I, I've got no memory of I have you. full memory of Dylan I also have full memory of Ethan Really? Yeah, it's you, you're all the only one I don't remember. I've changed, remember. I've changed a lot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he was sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, Dylan was always just his younger brother, so that's how I like yeah, no, it. And then Ethan, I just like, I just have this image of young Ethan's face. Me too. And that's just, just, that's just like stuck in my memory. Insert young Ethan's face here. <laughs> yeah, dig up an old photo. So, uh, picture of chubby me when I was like 14. <laughs> to do you're going to have to send me a clip or something. <laughs> <laughs> send you a clip of his first backflip I, I remember yeah. <laughs> Chris you were the reason I sent my first front flip yes yeah. <laughs> you've told me this story before I have, yeah we were doing a, a warm up run like Chris was leading and we had to follow him like Pied Piper style and then Chris just like hucks a front flip off of a like an agility table and little me running behind was like fuck it, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. here we go boys and I, I, I sent it I like landed on my arse or whatever but it was the first front so it, I sent yeah. on the mat or like on it was onto a mat it was onto a mat if I did it I really don't know onto a mat so no one dies. he did yeah, yeah. 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 Um, that's so crazy actually just hucks and fun yeah but then the next time around we did it I landed it no yeah cool natural you are very thank good you, at parkour. Mate. Thank you. Um, just front flips. But yeah, so what I was trying to say was that obviously we've known each other for fucking ages and yeah. then they've all known each other for like longer. Like the story, <laughs> the story's been around for like 11 years or something and they've all been training for like 15. So they've all known each other for like that length of time, which is fucking crazy long. Yeah, trust me. So that makes sense why they're a friendship group. <laughs> and also it's their job. <laughs> yeah, 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 they do they work, they do, they they do work together. together. Job, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Grafton. But yeah, shout out all the people who live in Brighton and train. You're all cool. Every single one of yours. Except for that one guy. I think Jamie Morrison is his name. Yeah, everyone hates that guy. Yeah, I like, <laughs> I've really spoken to so many people, they just fucking hate him. He's so odd. Yeah. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Who? Who's that? You wouldn't know him, we don't keep him around. <laughs> you know who's always about in Brighton as well? Nathan. Yeah. Yeah, Nathan is here a lot. Just get a awesome. yard already. Nathan. Yeah, get a yard down here. That'd be sweet. Yeah, talking about yeah. Stora, were, were we going to talk about the zombie POV? Oh yeah, you did zombie POV. Hold on, before we, let's talk about what we thought of the video and then we'll talk about Yeah, your that's what I was thinking, scenes. yeah. That's a great idea. Um, <coughs> I really like the video. Yeah, that was sick. Classic GoPro. Classic GoPro, but I don't, I don't tend really? To like, I, don't, I don't tend to like GoPro videos. No, it was, me neither. It was done really well, obviously. It was done really well. They might be the kings of GoPro videos. Yeah, maybe. Like, I don't know anyone else who makes them better than they do. 
Um, yeah, I mean, it also makes sense because I'm pretty sure Dying Light is played from first person. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Like they um, killed the fight scene bit. It was very Dying Light esque. Yeah, yeah, I've never played it. Yeah, played it's a really good game. I played, played it there. Yeah, okay. played it a lot. Yeah, cool. Is there a lot of parkour in it? Yes, it like? it's literally solely parkour and it's combat. It's solely yeah. parkour and combat. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like Mirror's Edge style or like? No, you got a lot yeah, more freedom. It's, it's way a lot better. more freedom. Okay. Yeah, and you. But the thing is, you like in Dying Light One, you have like a skill, a skill tree and stuff. So you only really unlock all the good, like quick parkour layer in the game. Oh, okay. Because like your climb up speed is really slow at the start of the game and then as you level up it's quicker and shit. Oh, that's okay. pretty cool to be fair. That's yeah. kinda cool, that's like parkour in itself. That is cool. Mean, like... And you have to choose which like bit you develop first and all that shit. Oh. So, yeah. Maybe I'll play the second one. Yeah. It's good maybe. game, really. Story's good game. really sold it to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nice. No, good advert. <laughs> well done guys <laughs> no, I really the lighting was sick I think yeah. the lighting was actually one of the best features no the lighting was incredible you should have seen how, the, all, how they had it all set yeah. up and stuff we got up to David Mitchell David Mitchell used oh, to train he, he like? yeah, yeah. David Mitchell used to train in case you don't know uh, part of the Mitchell brothers the big homies from Horsham both really good athletes yeah yeah Alex and Alex really is lovely guys. Alex was so good so Alex was actually crazy good have you watched any of their videos mm. possibly most probably Parkour Sundays. I'll right? tell you something. Yeah, Parkour yeah. Sundays, but also they had their own one, like Witcher Brothers. They used to be sponsored right, by yeah. Normal Brand. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Big time. The fact that um, David used to train really comes across in his lighting, funnily enough, because, like, I don't know, I'll see a light, like, fucking way up on a building, just, like, on yeah. the corner. And, and you'll be like, shit, how do you get up there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's classic. And he also does it like that, so yeah. quick. So, like, literally, like, vaulting over rails and, like, climbing up bits to set up a light. It's so cool. I'm yeah, convinced, you know how like when Neo gets superpowers and he can see in the Matrix? Yeah. I reckon David has this weird like vision where he can see light parts rather than seeing light. <laughs> Which <laughs> life doesn't, he, just see, he only sees the world through he like these little light. like, you know when you're playing like a game and there's like the lights coming out like the shadows. Yeah. Yeah. He, he sees all dark except for these like light parts. <laughs> yeah. That'd be crazy. That'd be so jarring. But yeah, he fucking killed that. And then also the choreography, the choreography was really good, I thought. Yeah. I thought all the zombies were really good, but to be fair, I don't know. Well, the makeup was done really yeah, well. Yeah, makeup was done really well. Complemented by the lighting. Complemented by lighting, and yeah. then also, like, the quick cuts. Yeah. So, like, there's no two, like... Yeah, all the cuts were the... made, um, yeah. like, I don't know what the word is, but, like, they were all motioned. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. That, so yeah. to cut, there would be a spin, or, yeah. like, a quick pan, or, like, it would it's go they... below something, and then, like, all, like, rolls. It's yeah. very it's, yeah. it's what they always do. It's what they do for all It's what PAVs. most people do it's, for PAVs, it's what, this was done. Yeah. Like, it was so crisp. They you do it because... The cuts. They do it so that, yeah, exactly. The idea is that you don't notice the cut. Exactly. Whereas they need to change location <laughs> yeah. to actually do a different thing. So it seems so, like one long... Yeah, line. exactly. That's, yeah. yeah. Which they do, yeah, they do really well. Obviously, when you can tell, it's well... When you know that it's like that, it's kind of bait. For yeah. Example, like all the no, it's very obvious. Yeah. But not to and like a a normie. That's what so I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's yeah. When, like we know that like you know. Oh, that's the there. roof stuff that's won't there. like. Uh, yeah. What? We know all the different locations. Like we can see they do a why roll the, and they go from Sutton to Brighton. Yeah. Why, <laughs> why, yeah. 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 That for specific stuff. Yeah. yeah. But also at the same time, like you know, like so they, the first like main shot is like in that building, like that warehouse. Thing. Yeah. You know that like when you come out of that there's just not going to be like a roof gap concrete <laughs> no <laughs> it's, just, it's just not realistic <laughs> yeah um, and also when you come out of a roll in a completely different area <laughs> it's just so bait <laughs> to us yeah yeah completely goes over someone I don't know, like my mum's head you, you know think I mean? uh, yeah well, uh, maybe I don't know I feel like if I showed someone who will like, I don't know they wouldn't consciously like if I showed pick up Ellie, on it. I feel like she might pick up on it yeah maybe if I asked her after she'd be like yeah I noticed that I feel like well, I don't know yeah, I'd like to think so. But I think even even if you notice it, I don't think it hugely just detracts from the quality of the video. Not no, at all, not no. at all, not no. at all. Like you know, most films are shot like that as well. Yeah. Like they literally shoot scenes and they cut and then they go into like a new scene, but it's like set in the same place. <laughs> yeah, like you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I think it's done really well. I, yeah, the choreography is really good. I think the zombie stuff, especially because not everyone was like an actual actor; they were just parkour people. <laughs> Doing yeah. like doing zombie things, um, I think they did that really well by like cutting it quite quickly, so you don't actually get too much of a drag on like people's acting or like their facial yeah. expressions. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously, like they're probably not used to having a camera in their face. Yeah. And so they don't actually know like how to c- convey certain emotions. Yeah. But yeah, I think that was done really well. I like the bit where they kicked Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the swing. Underbar. Yeah, yeah. The underbar kick is a classic. 
Which is the scene where they kick Joe and Lawrence together at the same time. Yeah, that is cool. Oh, yeah. They always release the behind the scenes, like... <laughs> For the fighting bit. <laughs> was like, yeah, that was yesterday. Yesterday. That was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The behind the scenes... They do it at all that. <clears throat> release the behind the scenes for the first section. So, like, the warehouse inside section yesterday. Which I really enjoyed. Yeah, me too. I liked, really liked watching it was behind all, the scenes. Oh, it was really cool to watch. Yeah. Watching how they like walk, walk like walked it through like it oh and really then we could fun. have this here and you can kick him there. Yeah, it was like, really fun being a part of it. It was very fun <laughs> being a part of it. I got thrown off Toby in one, at one point. I had to go like zombie on him and then Max like. Did you do any like roof gaps at night? Because uh, you were part of the roof tiny gaps one just to get to the shooting location. Oh, okay. Like, I literally just it was like yeah, yeah that was like over. more like that was, okay. it wasn't that was access. That it wasn't yeah. filmed. No, yeah. Oh, okay. They they did um the same roof gap but off of two vents it was sick oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah it was sketchy though man like I, I don't know if there's gonna if they're gonna release the behind the scenes for all the like running like the, the training bits but um the running pre they were doing off the two vents was sketchy like they were wiping it down every other go to get the moisture off and oh, stuff oh really yeah it was awful yeah what did the, uh, was the spot they did the Kong pre roof gap like were you there for that one yeah what was that like the, the Kong pre it's Kong pre roof gap and then there's bear zombies at the yeah, the end of the concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how, insane. How big are the was the concrete? Uh, not big at all. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to speed step it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Just find that really interesting. Well, GoPros don't really. They do, but they don't. Especially in the low light. No, it wasn't big, they and they did really it. Angles at all. They did it basically no preps in the dark, and yeah. and that that actually the one they used in the video, that was uh the feds were there. Oh, Lisa showed yeah, up, yeah. and we were like, can we just get one? <laughs> and then they got it. <laughs> That's crazy. On the take, yeah, it's sick. That's bang. You'll probably see that all in the BTS though. Yeah. If they really yeah. See, yeah. That sounds fucking cool though. No, it was good. They got really Jealous. good, like, um, um, killed the makeup. And they got you Maccas. So, and they got me a Macca. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, they got a story for the Maccas. So, <clears> double, big, double Big Mac. <laughs> yeah, I <That's> did. <laughs> Someone buying me Maccas. I was I'm getting a Double Big Mac. <laughs> Speaking of story, they've got some new clothes out soon. Oh. Uh, I don't know when they're being released though. They said soon. I have no fucking clue. They've just like released, they're re- slowly releasing like one by one like photos on Instagram of like their winter stuff, which I think is really cool. Has everyone, what, what, what do people think? I like the fleece. I think, yeah, you know, the fleece looks like the big piece yeah. to me. I've had a good look. Well, you can't really have a good look. They're just like teaser photos. Yeah. But like, feel free to have a little scroll right now. I will. Um, it they've released, like it's, it's like, like print on it. yeah, like yeah. So it's like, I think they're going for like outdoor wear because from all the photos, they're in like the woods and then like there's photos of like Toby setting up. Like a zip, like a line tour, it'd be sort of store, thing. Store. Oh. And then uh, they also have photos of like setting up campfires and stuff. Oh, that's so I think sick. it's like outdoor wear sort of stuff, yeah. which I think is fucking cool. It's a different like branch to go down, especially as they do a lot of like that sort of stuff. They do be looking like gloves. Yeah, but I don't know. They're just like in the photo, like they're not in any of the other photos. Yeah, and they, I can't see any branding on the gloves either. No, it's not yeah, apparent you're right. Whether or not they're just gloves that they happen to be wearing, or whether kind it's gloves like, that they're selling. Kind of like bike gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they, they do. Half plastic over the top. Yeah, it's, I, th- I think the fleece is really fucking sick, and it's something <clears> that like <throat> hasn't really been seen very much in parkour clothing. Like, like is this the fleece? The print. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. fleece. That looks hard. Go down a bit. Go down again. One more. One more. One more. <laughs> there. Oh, that looks hard. <laughs> For frame of reference, I just go on to scroll to a photo where you can see a lot more of the fleece. Yeah. Um, it's very similar to like Carhartt style fleeces, if that makes sense. So yeah. like, they don't normally do, they don't do the patterns, but they do, and like North Face as well, they do this as well. So they do like the blacked out, the one patch of like plastic with a brand on it. And then the rest of it is like a color with fleece, obviously fleece lining. And then like for this one, they've done like a pattern uh, I hope the pattern is like essence, that'd be really cool. But even if it's just like black, like marks, it's really cool either way. Um, but also, in the photos, they've got the new, what, the shoes, which they've based off a different shoe. Well, I probably should say actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so don't, don't leak their information. But they've got, yeah, so they've got, um, are they, they, have you seen the shoes? In Sorry, the where? Gee, this guy, I doesn't even know, he doesn't even look him. This is just the grip. Yeah. No, that's a different photo. It's quite like a sock one. What shoe is he wearing? Oh, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> you yeah. cheeky bastard. See, guys, you gotta, you got to keep you on the lookout for this stuff. <laughs> in mind, though. I, we, Inter- I tried on. Yeah. I, we, we tried, we tried them on, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Them on, yeah but they were, yeah. they were orange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're comfy. Um, it was a bit thin for yeah, my liking when I tried them on, but that was a that was a test. 
The one I tried on was like a protester, yeah, a protester. Test model, yeah. So and uh, yeah. although the shoe itself felt really nice and like breathable and movable, it felt very thin. Yeah, I think the yeah. sock idea is fucking like pretty genius for parkour because it's literally like the lightest shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So like that, yeah. So it, I, I like also I also like the fact that they took the grip. So like the grip is like made out of the store essence, but it's still like decent if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Not, that's very cool. It's not like just shit. It's just like actually like their branding whilst also like so it looks cool and also is practical. is practical for use. But yeah, we all tried that on. That was fun. Yeah, that was. <laughs> so for you, you weren't there. Yeah, I wasn't there. Oh, okay, mate. I was there, but it's my feet are fucking giant. <laughs> 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 I didn't try one. I tell you what, I definitely did. You know, I bet everyone, surely everyone else does this. You get a new sh- when you when you can't even want to try a shoe on, and you just want to test out the grip. You just take the shoe and you just do this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, you just sort of jam it into like a wall or something, <laughs> as if you're gonna like land a pre. Or like, and it's always only the toes. I never, I never test the heel. I no, always just test the toe. Like, it's a good indicator. Yeah. <laughs> Surely I think it's fun. useless. Really? Yeah, yeah I think it's totally useless. <laughs> I don't because at all. because when you do this, all your weight like is coming in like at this angle. But like the difference is when you land like a pre, you come in like this most. Obviously. And also there's so much more yeah. force behind it. So a lot of the time, I'll be like, it's shit. <laughs> but what it is, it's just what it is. There's just no force going into it, yeah. so it just skims off for no reason. So what I'll actually do, I'll do, I'll do that, and then if that's sharp, I'll like, oh, the double check, and then I'll like. Well, I'll like push it. I'll like put my like put my hand on it, push it down, and then also try and like push it across. So it's actually like weight on top, and also like put forward momentum. That's what I'm saying. It's a good indicator. That is. You could. Th- this you one is. Still I don't like... think this one is. I think this one is because you can literally just do that. <laughs> well, that's what you do with your hand. You just wedge it in. No, I think, no, no, I think no, no. You no, can cause... still see how how much the grip yeah, is doing. Yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah, it's just, I just find it really funny. That's yeah. something I, that's something I do all the time. With random shoes as well. Do you ever try? You know, I grip my. <laughs> I grab my shoes at the gym sometimes for deadlifts because <laughs> and then, no, 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 no. I'll give you some logic here. Tell me why. Yeah, 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 but I'll tell you what it is. 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 So <laughs> it's not. It's not because I need to stay in the same place. That has not. It's not to do anything to do with shoe grip. So when I rub my shoes, I'm pretty sure part of the fact that you know when your hands get grippy after rubbing your shoes as yeah. well. Yeah, I think it's because when you do this, especially like with my new balances, I think some of the, because when you're rubbing it with moisture, some of the rubber comes off as well. Mm. And so, especially as you're training, because you train, that wears down the rubber. And so there's just loose rubber on the bottom. So when you wipe that off in your hand, it then makes your hand, like, you know, absorb some of the moisture. and makes it, like, dry and, like, sticky. And so I do that, and then it makes my hands grippier for, de- for deadlifts. And that way I don't need chalk. That works. <laughs> so, rinse me in the comments if you want, but... <laughs> Still probably stronger than all of you. You might, get, not. you might get just one comment. I'll get one comment like that's stupid. Speaking <laughs> of, me and James were looking <laughs> me and James were looking at the um, the like, the last podcast we did this morning and it was the, the Grease one. And it has one comment which is just a guy uh, what, what did he say? He, his his remember. account was like um getting to a hundred subscribers with, with no, no video, video challenge. That was the name of his channel. And he was essentially just rinsing our podcast for like what did he, he, say? he said, "He said too boring. You have to resort to simping for others on YouTube to attract views." <laughs> and his his YouTube channel name is a hundred subs. I just <laughs> no vids challenge. He's got what's your soul? You replied five subscribers. So I replied, "How many subs you got?" <laughs> <laughs> He also, oh, yeah. the comment was eight months ago, I replied two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> just ready, got sorry. It's fucking crazy. Nah, to be fair, it's a fair comment. I mean... Wait, what? <clears throat> How was that a fair comment? Because a lot of the... Well, so... Have you listened to the Grease podcast? We barely talk about anyone. To be fair, actually, 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 the Grease podcast is mostly just talk We just talk about the truth yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. We weren't simping on any yeah, other channels. That <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I thought that guy, to be fair. Or not, he might be really nice. No, fuck him. Oh. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. Hundred subscribers. <laughs> back to no back to clo- back to, clo- back, to, back, to <laughs> back to yeah. Bait. He sucks. <laughs> Run him up. We still swear on these, right? No, that's no. so bad. I would never fucking swear on a podcast. Oh, for fuck's sake. We've got to fucking oh, film it all again. No. Well, we, um, when we were looking at podcasts earlier, we noticed that the only one podcast has been listed as explicit content. All the rest are completely open for anyone to listen to. I yeah. say swear a lot. Despite all the I literally only, ever talk, I only swear when I talk. That's such a fact. I don't know why. It's part of my vocabulary. You only swear when you talk. Yeah, of course. I meant to say I always swear when I talk, but I said I only swear uh, when I talk. But also, it still works. So I say I only swear when I talk because you can't swear otherwise. Can yeah, no, we well, can actually. Fair enough. 
Hello, hello. Uh, uh, back to topic. Back to topic. Clothing, infrastructure. Ah. Uh, they've released a new... Well, are, are they out? Or yeah, Okay, yeah, yeah, they're out and they released a video to go along with it. The video was actually really good. I didn't watch it. No, that's all right, because we can just put it on the TV and cool. watch it now. The video is cool. I think and then we'll the, talk is about that on YouTube? Live. The yeah, it's it's called called perception oh, reinterpretation. no, it might be on Instagram. Is it an Insta video? I'll have a little look. Hold on. We'll it's an Insta video. So you've all seen the clothing. Talk about the clothing while I do some research. Um, I think it's a cool concept. Yeah. Um, they've basically taken... Uh, there's four... Is it four spots? There's the Dandelac. Four. Yeah. There's IMAX, uh, Chaos in Lisbon, and... Santorini. Santorini rooftops, yeah. And they've they've taken those and they've interpreted the they've taken like images of them and I think some are in like a block style. Like they they've just like artsy them up a bit and put them on some like sweet pastel colours. Yeah. And some tags and well stuff. they've 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 straight drawn them. They haven't like I I don't think they've Well you reckon uh, Yeah, uh, surely you, yeah. Them. Well if you look at the well hold on. I've got no idea how capable of art he is, so well, I assume he's pretty capable. He does all this stuff. Well, I don't know. But yeah, no, nah, that's straight drawn, surely. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's not a picture. It's, it's like a they've taken a picture and drawn it. Is he still yeah. collaborating with Jimmy? Yeah, he did that one. Yeah, yeah. They've done that. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think uh, I think the designs are really cool in terms of like that idea of putting a spot on a t-shirt. I think it's the best that has like happened in parkour because it had like obviously the Motors Voxel t-shirt, which was I really rated, but it was just. a picture yeah and then there was like the storm imax t-shirt which i didn't really rate um but it was also just a picture yeah it was also on just a really a picture. oh well, i don't want to bitch about it but on a low quality t-shirt as well it was one of those yeah. you know you know the classic acid wash t-shirts you buy when you're like 14 oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and then you and then you wash them a few times and they start to become faded and see-through yeah. yeah yeah those really dead yeah deaders big time deaders you basically like you'd walk around like all the people all the people guys in the storm who'd had one for a long time you basically just walk around seeing their like biceps <laughs> or like their nips you know what I mean <laughs> terrible but also fair enough yeah you know, as long as they liked it <laughs> uh, yeah but yeah I think I think the two I actually think it's the best yeah like you said it's the best of that genre or like co- concept that's been done so far I know that Contendent also did a Damn Do Like t-shirt uh, I don't think I don't know if it was supposed to be specifically Damn Do Like but they did like that t-shirt with that Contendent at the top lightning on the side and then Damn Do Like picture in the middle yeah mm. Which was kind of cool, but again, I'm not a big. I'm I personally am not a big fan of the spot. Like, I don't know, especially if the spot's been done. Maybe to be fair, candid, Dan did like first, but like for example, IMAX. There's like three T-shirts dedicated to IMAX now. There's uh, Storm, Fat, and then also this, uh, and that's really cool. Theirs is really cool. I like the drawing, but at the same time, IMAX is really cool. But maybe let's make something new. Yeah. I also, think- the sorry, the the mode like um. The Motus Origin stuff had like images of Dan Dulac on it. Oh yeah, 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 so, yeah. Oh like, yeah. yeah, I think the way infrastructure has done it and the designs are really fucking cool. Like kind of, uh, yeah, like Picasso s drawings. You were saying like, yeah, the oh yeah, yeah. The style of it. it's like block style. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, it's, it's I've gone. forgotten what the style is called, but it's in the description on the website. Is is like it tells you what the style is based on. It also has a picture of Picasso's house. Yeah, the website, website, yeah, just says Pablo Picasso's house. Could you elaborate it. on that? <laughs> there is absolutely nothing else on that webpage except for a picture of Pablo Picasso's house. And it's a lovely house. <laughs> it's a lovely house. I just don't just, understand what it's there. Just elaborate, you know. Like, I feel like the recent designs have been inspired by, like, Picasso art. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually, yeah. Definitely. And also, I think something else that goes towards the, the T-shirts as well and his designing ideas is that he has the little tabs on a little, like, uh, little bits on the sides. They have yeah. a little description of each spot, which I thought was really cool because it suits the style he's going for. Like, that's not really my kind of thing. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'd write, like, I don't really want, like, a paragraph of descriptive info on the stuff I wear. But it goes with, like, his concept and, like, what he's trying to do, if that makes sense. So, yeah. like, like I, can, I can understand and respect that. I just don't like Infrastructure. Mind. Not my type of thing. Yeah, infrastructure, I yeah. guess. Mm. Infrastructure of a community. But it's also because the drop itself is called perception and reinterpretation. Ah. So I think I assume that the, the little paragraph, I haven't personally haven't read them yet, but I'm assuming they describe the spot. And so it's probably that's the yeah. perception. And then the image itself is a re, like a reimagination of what the spot. And also that like. ties into, God, he's a smart guy. Ties into mm. Park Hawk, you take the perception, which is the, what the, the spot, 
and then you reinterpret yeah. it to do parkour in it because people don't see IMAX and go parkour except for us. Yeah. It's not a bloody you know playground. I mean? like, yeah, exa- exactly. <laughs> mate. It's not a playground. <laughs> Stop training on IMAX, guys. It's not a fucking playground. For fuck's yeah. sake. Does it look like I'm playing? That's my question. <laughs> these hard clips look like are like I'm games playing. to you. Because <laughs> they're not. This All is right? serious training. Yeah, so I thought that was... I yeah. thought it was a cool... I thought it was a really lovely job. I, th- I think he did really well with it, but it's just not my type of thing. Like, I don't really... I don't know. Again, I don't... <laughs> I think it's cool. And I also think... I think it's cool. I'd just rather people do more towards different stuff. I don't know. Like, with this design, with the art style he's gone for, I think it's ve- uh, a little bit more universal in terms of someone who doesn't necessarily do parkour could appreciate that as a piece of yeah, art. I think so, too. Uh, whereas if it was a picture, someone like... Why does someone yeah. take a picture of these blue ass walls and put it on a t shirt? Yeah. Like, this is way more transferable. I think and so. I too. think it's really I think cool. the image on its own is more that. transferable, but adding the paragraph does add a, a little bit of a. No, but that's why I like it. Niche section to it. It makes it very much more parkour related. Yeah, but then yeah. someone so someone could buy the t shirt for the artwork and then, yeah, you yeah, know. For sure. Yeah. It brings, it brings the attention to this as well. Like. I'd be quite interested to feel the fabric of the t shirt. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Obviously, that makes total sense because you just want you know quality, like you know, want to see the quality yeah, of the yeah, T-shirt I, I and all that quality. sort of stuff. It's just what you said, the way you said it sounded so funny. Yeah, but it's because it's I think one thing that like makes or breaks a, a clothing drop is like you could you could spend hours putting in loads of research and making a great design that's really well thought out. Like your branding is on point, your like advertising is skillful. Like everything could be amazing. But if you print it on a shitty T-shirt, I'm not buying it. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Like, and I would much rather buy a, a design that, like, you spent a bit less time on because you took a couple of hours out of your designing time to properly research the materials that you're printing on and, the, like, the medium that you're using so that I can wear a T-shirt comfortably rather than have a sweet design on a T-shirt that itches the back of my neck and makes me want to throw it away every time. <laughs> I'm also going to say, <clears throat> people in parkour need to sort out their zips. <laughs> I hate y- uh, uh, YKK y- and that's it. Why can't they fly? Just, just, like, <laughs> just check. So, Stora, right? Love all your clothes. I keep buying it, but every single thing I've owned of Stora that has a zip on it has broken. <laughs> I can't zip up my right. So, so you know, wow, you're losing my, business. The, the, so. the, the like taps, the like uh, tactical vest they did for like autumn, winter, like maybe like forty three, four years ago, or whatever. Like um, the zip, the zip to do it up is broken, so I literally can't do it up anymore. It has to be loose. Which is really annoying because I want to train in it or something. It's just pfft, all uh. over the place. There's a side zip here to put stuff in. Broken, stuck. <laughs> like I literally can't. Like it's just open, so I can't put stuff in there anymore because it just falls out. Yeah. And then I had the store cargos from the set. I think they were from the. They're either from the same drop or the drop before. And they were like my favorite trousers, but literally like zips broke. Like stri- just couldn't like you know. Could it, like literally in the first week couldn't couldn't put anything in my pockets because the zips were broken. Yeah, I think. I think that sorry, is. Yeah, that's just, just, yeah. Sorry, guys, but yeah, that's just real. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens to me, and I'd rather not pay forty quid for something that I with that doesn't doesn't have zips. Yeah, yeah. I like to I've, hope that's a one-time thing, though. What my only mine? Yeah. Why? No, no I, I'm, I'm sorry, mate. I'm, 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 I, I hate to bad out the story guys because they're fucking insane, but I've literally everyone I spoke to knows about the story zip. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Gossip, I'm not joking. It's a thing. Like it's a thing. Yeah, Everyone knows it's, it's the yeah. zips on story garments are bad. Yeah. Yeah, I bought those like summer trackies. Yeah, they were sick ago. as well. They were really sick. I really like them. But it's, I think one of the zips broke on the Is very first day. That the same one where yeah. some of yeah. the print peel off. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. of your that was yeah. had like the logo yeah, there yeah, came yeah, off. Yeah. Yeah. They were sick as well. I've had a lot of the text come off of the black and blue camo trackies. Yeah. Yeah, and I think like it's pretty inevitable if oh, you yeah. wear shit. Oh yeah, those are hard as well. See, they make really cool stuff. They just need to they go, go really yeah. hard. Just sort out the zips. <laughs> so what were you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say it's pretty inevitable if you like buy a piece of clothing and you wear it. Eventually, it's gonna yeah. break down. Yeah, but yeah. yeah but I you think... expect a certain longevity. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. I expect like yeah, I expect zip, zips would be the thing I'd expect to last like one of the not the longest, but like a good amount of time. Yeah, I yeah. don't expect to like get a month in and be like, oh, the zips stuck. Yeah, or like something like that, and also like I bought the store cargos as well. I distinctly remember the first day I got them. Like so, the, the way the zips were designed, they had the store like plastic that says store on them, and then they had the inner bit with like the metal that it clearly stays onto, and then like the zip. And the first time I literally like pulled my like the zip up, like put my phone in, pulled my zip up, and the plastic bit came off. That was like yeah. on the day I got them. So like, I think, yeah. Whilst it wasn't broken to a point of not use, it's like well, that's literally like you know gone already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
I think it's just really hard with that kind of stuff because like you yeah. said, you, you paid forty quid for the vest, right? Or something. I think like, the vest was cheaper. I think the, tra- the trousers were probably about forty quid. Yeah, like, like to us, that's quite a lot of money. But realistically, in terms of clothing, like that's not that expensive. And I think, like, if people do want to expect better quality, you have to expect to pay. I know it's very obvious. You have to expect to pay more money for the clothing. Like, yeah, but we both know that. Well, I'm willing to pay that. Like, you know, what I mean, I buy. Yeah, yeah. We, we buy quite expensive clothing as a group. Well, me yeah, and you do. I know me and you buy quite expensive clothing as a group a lot of the time. Um, and so like and when 40 quid I'd say for like the level they're at is quite well, not quite expensive but like well for trousers it's kind of normal I'd say trousers 40 quid is like a normal price so you'd expect it to last like a normal level of trouser if that makes sense you wouldn't expect yeah. it to come off straight away I don't know well, to be honest if I bought anything I'd rather that it didn't come off at, like straight away yeah yeah <laughs> I guess we just don't have any really experience with like actually working with factories and no I yeah I will say that obviously like there is certain degrees and like you can't control every <laughs> single item like they like for example my like maybe 10% of the zips break like that they can't control like that's, that's that might just be a statistic that happens yeah, yeah. you know what I mean that's not something they can control and I totally get that but at the same time why do all of mine have to break? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially well, as I wear that vest like every fucking day. Let's wrap up the whole Stora zip. Uh, no, tangent. I want to no, 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 not done. We're clearly very passionate passion about it and we'll be I having know. strong words with the Stora boys That's about it. Next time I see Drew, I'll be like, Drew, mate. <laughs> sort him <them> out. <laughs> Did you guys see the public teaser? For a new... He teased a new t-shirt. No. no, no. Oh, okay. Well, we literally posted on a story maybe like two months ago. I'm pretty sure I tried to show it one, but maybe I didn't. Um, but in case you don't know, Drew also does a side project called Public, which released a uh, clothing line. I what, did a see hoodie it. A t-shirt. It released a hoodie. Was it a hoodie t-shirt? Hoodie and t-shirt. And a cap. And a cap. Mm. Yeah. And um, alongside that, they dropped a collaborative video with people from the community that I really liked on a specific public website which I thought was really cool as opposed to mm. YouTube it was very like and I think if he pushes that direction it'd be really cool because he could create like a hub for like parkour videos I mean it depends on how he wants to do it he could either create just public videos that go, only go on there which would be cool because it's like oh if I want to watch these videos go to, the go to the website but you could also branch out and be like a bit more like for lack of a, for lack of a better example Thrasher you literally are the hub of skate videos like you go on the Thrasher website or the YouTube and you watch specific videos that go on there mm. which is which I really like because it yeah. means I can just watch I just see the new stuff straight away I don't have to like scroll through people's instas to see when they drop videos or like all that sort of stuff yeah yeah. I think it is something that would be really cool to have in parkour because with that as well like you go onto Thrasher there's nothing else but skating like, you go onto YouTube there's all this other shit that's distracting you and like um, taking away from like what you're there for, which like if you're going to watch parkour videos, is that? I don't yeah. Know. Does that make sense? No, it makes totally totally sense to me like, because it's actually the problem I had earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to watch only parkour videos and I get loads of like non parkour videos. Yeah, exactly. Coming up recommended next. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like no, <laughs> no. We're still on the parkour thing. <laughs> no, I'm still trying to watch banger clips, not Jimmy talking about rollerblading. <laughs> <laughs> that was not. In fairness, I actually rate really what he's doing. He's actually, well, yeah. uh, he's branched, I'd say he doesn't really do, well, I don't know. Well, he's changed his thing though, hasn't he? To YouTube's Louis Theroux. Before it was Parkour's Louis Theroux or something, and now it's YouTube's Louis Theroux. Did anyone else I can't, I can't agree with the comparison to Louis Theroux. Yeah, no, neither, can, neither, player, neither can I, but I, I like the fact that he's changed it because before it was all exclusively Parkour, he then realised there wasn't enough in parkour to be three. <laughs> yeah. He literally like lo- did the lo- everything. Yeah. The longevity <laughs> of that was very like small, especially Not with long. parkour in, at the moment. I think personally, I think parkour at the moment is in a bit it's of a dip. Long. I think it's in a big, big old, big old dip mm. in terms of content. So it makes it harder for him to like put anything out in himself. Uh, and so he branched out into every other extreme sport, apparently. Yeah. Which is fair enough. Yeah. Which is actually quite interesting. Like I watched uh, one of the rollerblading ones. Not the one where he learned to rollerblade. I watched the, one of them as well. Yeah, the I, I actually really, really I've, I've been really enjoying it. I love watching videos like that. It just kind of teaches you about new shit. I watched the one on like the medieval yeah. MMA. Yeah, thing me too. Well, I also watched one which was insane. also just fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> just people smashing the shit out of each other. Yeah, I think it's cool. Big up. Yeah, I actually like them. So. Also, big ups to the Pariah hoodies. No, don't no. like Jay. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Jay. Shout out to the homie Jay. 
Fucking sick arm. He always kills it every single it. time. Um, yeah, actually, it's really cool. And the t-shirt, I like. Show in the back. I also really like what he's done. Can I get it on camera? Yeah. Duck. Duck a bit? Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah? Nailed it. Just remember to insert pictures. Insert uh, pictures I'd like to talk, to be fair, I'd like to talk on this a bit a little bit more. So on the back, it says... Back. Wait, is it on the back? Is it on this Wait, one? Turn around. Turn around. Uh, yeah, so on the back it says fear culture. Something that he hasn't, I don't know, I feel like, well, I, he definitely, I, he talked to me a lot about it loads, but like he wants to delve more deeply into that because of the roots of parkour. Like, the, if you watch Jay's actually, like, Jay posts a lot of clips on Instagram, and like also if you train with him in person, you can see his like style or like the way he likes to train is very much like high up, like scary shit, like trying to do something that is phys- like physically probably fine. But mentally, a lot of risk. just the fuckiest thing in the world. Yeah. And um, Jay <laughs> likes to do high up scary stuff. And so he puts fear cult on the t-shirts because he thinks that a lot of like parkour, <clears throat> well, there's like a subsection to parkour culture, I'd say, of like the fear culture, which is like people that want to push past like a mental barrier, if that makes sense. So, so a good example is maybe like, well, is Dom. So Dom does specifically like, well, sometimes he goes out training, he calls it like hunting. He hunts for challenges that like he knows he can do, but they're just really fucked or like they're on the edge of his limit and it's because they actually scare him. Whereas mm. like the the challenges that aren't like, on the edge of his limit or fucked don't scare him so much. Yeah. So it's like, he, you know, he's embracing the idea of overturning that fear and just like fucking going for it. And then also Jay does that in his like high up training. Yeah. And like, I know I like to do that a lot with Jay. Like that's one like I like going out with Jay. I like going out with Jay because we specific, he specifically looks out for those type of things. So you're going out with Jay? Yeah, man. Me and Jay been going out for a while. Sorry, Selena, but he's man now. <laughs> um, that's cute. No, yeah, that, I, I've noticed that as well. Like Jay's, um, Ow. really enjoys pushing the mental of parkour. Obviously the physical as well, but I think he gets the most gratification from ticking off a scary high up thing. Mm. Yeah, big time. Yeah. He's also really powerful anyway, so like he just does big oh, shit high yeah. up anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's a bit more like towards the fear, like the fear culture thing on the fear cult thing on the back is a bit more towards like the idea that in parkour you're like you you put yourself in situations where you like actually feel fear, yeah, and then you push past that, and then you become a bit uh, not addicted, but you know that gives you a little boost, and then because of that boost, you then want to do it more mm. and then more and then more, and then next thing you know, you're just like doing these scary things out of like a necessity yeah. you know what I mean I mean I, yeah it's interesting that you said it's not an addiction and then described an addiction <laughs> <laughs> look guys I'm trying to say I, I'm not addicted to parkour but, but I am right? I, don't, <laughs> I, don't just... I don't think it's a bad thing to be addicted to something like that I think it's, Obviously, it's, it's, it's a bit different with drugs I think it totally varies being, being, being addicted to sort of training yourself with the mentality of being able to overcome fear in situations where your life is in danger isn't really a bad thing. I think mean, yeah. if you take it to the far extreme, yeah, it that's be, what I'm saying. Extre- it, could, it could be unhealthy because I mean, if you think about how fucked up soldiers are who have been forced to get through those barriers, but the, the way Jay's doing it's a healthy, in my eyes. Yeah, obviously, I, I think everyone in parkour does it to a healthy doing. degree, but I think you can like you can take it to the extreme. So, for yeah. example, if I decided that I only got that like that level of like boost or excitement or enjoyment from death like death death, death drops like you know what I mean like <laughs> like doing a jump like a roof gap I only like you know say I get to a point in my training where I'm like oh well nothing scary anymore except for roof gaps I then only do roof gaps if you only do roof gaps your, statistic, your statistical likelihood of failing becomes way higher on a roof gap because you just do more of them um, and you don't do yeah so then by that point you could become, you could count it as dangerous in theory I guess so but then it's, it's a not case for me of, though I'm super sick so I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Cut to clips of me bailing roof caps. <laughs> to be fair, I actually have bailed roof cap once. Have you? But yeah, I like slipped. So like, I was in London after the day I did the IMAX uh, Kong dive roll. The day after you did the no, the same day. Sorry. Oh right. Same day. It, it rained a little bit, and I was on this little roof thing. It wasn't really high. It was like maybe the height of the ceiling. On this little roof thing, I was like, oh, I'll just pre down to that like lower roof, which was like the height of that thing. And I just fucking like, it was just so wet. So I went to do like a one footed like one, you know, when you like do a one footed like yeah. push down. And this, my front the pushing foot just fucking whoop, just like slid. And I just didn't go anywhere. And then I was like, had to like, I like had one, had one foot like this, one foot like there, tried to like grab the top, didn't grab the top, and then fell like down into this like 
great thing. Shit, Chris. And then my foot went through like the grate, and then I like managed to just like catch something else and just like climb back out. I was fine. It was just one of those Is things where it's like, no. I wish. So it was, I was totally fine. It was one of those things where I just like nearly got really fucked up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Wait, was I there for that? Uh, were you there for that? I was, I was there for the combat Yeah, then you would have been. Yeah, you were there for that. Cool. Yeah. I was a little bit high as well. I clearly just did. <laughs> Cause, um, <laughs> yeah, because uh, well, no, I did the combat roll, and then I was like, I don't really want to do anything else today. And then Alfie was like, do you want some of my weed vape? And I was like, straight up, or some weed vape? <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing you know, fell roof cap, so don't train way high, guys. Or do. <laughs> or do. <laughs> I would never train way high. Don't do scary shit. Like, I do. actually or disagree just, with yeah, I think it totally depends. I think it totally depends. It do does you, totally what depends. is in your comfort zone? Yeah. And also understand the different, like the different, like the difference in mental state, if that makes sense. Because like physically, you probably are about the same, but mentally, like it does change a lot. And then also the way you react to situations changes a lot as well. Yeah. I think you can't argue really that physically you're that similar though. It's not about you, but when I'm saying like, fuck, I'm not jumping. Nah, but you feel, so so, so, so that's, see, I think, I think that's different. I think that's not that you physically are different. I think that's your, like, the the way it affects you causes you to be, to to feel more slumpy and tired. But if you, if you push past that and decide to be active, you can feel, you can feel totally fine. Like, skating while high is honestly fucking beautiful. Yeah. Like, you just, I just feel, I just like, you know, I feel like I can get in the mindset where I just go with the flow. Uh, skating is fucking calm and then also like I've done like tricking one high as well and like I get look, there's been times where I feel like absolutely pristine like strength like power wise yeah. like I'll do a standing back and I'll be like oh shit I'm poppy today yeah whereas like if you just get super stoned and sit in the lounge it's like this <laughs> yeah 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 it's quite easy to fall into a slump you know what I mean and, and, then, and because you sit like that your muscles just sort of relax for me it has to be like I'm not going to name any names, but a certain big athlete who would do multiple bong hits. <laughs> before, <laughs> before, <laughs> not five. 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 Five bong hits. <laughs> I'd be on the floor. <laughs> before, before going out and hitting yeah. a very big side pre. Um, is that too bait? <laughs> 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 no, 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 that, that could be anybody. Me personally, could never do, I could never do that. No, but especially not before I've been but at that's bar. Different, like, tolerance levels. At Tor- same okay, time, yeah. At the same yeah. time. Like, okay, yeah. There are different tolerance levels. But for me, when it, say I'm already out training, and I don't know, Zoo gets passed around or something like that, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy the change of mindset, and yeah. I approach things differently, and I also deal with fear differently when I'm in when I'm high, I guess. When I'm high. I don't know how else to put it, yeah. I don't know if you guys know, but Jamie smokes weed. Got <laughs> it. I could go, yeah, Elaborate on that a bit more. I'm going to give you a specific example, actually. Running arm jump, or I say running arm jump, moshi moshi. Yes. You did that while high? Yeah, I did. How does that feel differently to say something with a similar difficulty? So, it is very, it's very hard to explain, but... In a, in, a, in a sense of the word, you care less. And right, like, okay. not in terms of like hurting myself, but I, 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 it's, a, it's almost like I'm more level-headed. Yeah. I, can, I can really see the, I look at the like, oh, if I bail, I'll do this. And yeah. oh, the prep was really good. I just need to, you know, put in a bit more. And I, I can see it all a bit more clearly. Whereas when right. I'm like stone cold sober trying something like that, it's almost like the stone cold sober. It's almost like the. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's almost like the, the the fear takes hold and my brain just like I find it way easier to spiral out, and like I, I, I whereas I wouldn't be I'd be thinking about like what I would do if I were to bail it, but it would just wouldn't give me as much like comfort or it wouldn't be as clear it. and I can't yeah. push past it. Yeah, but do you think you're more concentrated while high then? Because when you're not high. You said you spiral out. So yeah. if you are, yeah. high, you stay a bit more laser focused. On I like, zone if in. I do these things, it will work. Yeah. And you don't end up going down this path of like, oh, I, yeah. you know, if exactly. I bail, it might do this. In a weird way, I mean, I, f- I feel like a lot of people wouldn't agree with that, but in no, certain I mean, situations, I, it's I wouldn't agree with that. In. I wouldn't agree with that at all. For yeah. me, anyway. I but that's agree with that. the difference. Yeah, like, yeah, everyone's yeah. different, though. Yeah. So for yeah. example, yeah. Less, for me yeah. personally, like my my uh, experiences of being high and then also with training when I'm sober dead concentrated yeah like people like like I used to be way worse but like I'd be at jams and I'd just be laser focused people were trying to introduce themselves about yeah I'll talk to you in a minute I'd be, you know kind of trying to do this 
like now a bit more like oh, I could take a minute yeah you know to talk to somebody yeah but at the time I was just like I just want to you know do this jump I don't you know I'd yeah. rather be focused on that and like you know there's like those moments where you're looking at like I'm out gripping my shoes and as you don't notice anything else that's going on around me yeah like there is no other factors um whereas while well, while high I feel like especially like even when I'm like, not training like I'm a bit more yeah you know easily drawn to other things so like for example if I was doing a jump I feel like I'd notice the person coughing in the background or I'd notice like the other person trying a different challenge and be like maybe I want to do that <laughs> instead mm. or something like that so I couldn't like get myself to like yeah be, like, this is the one jump I need to push through and do yeah if that makes sense I just want I just want to clarify though what I was saying earlier I don't um, enjoy training high more than I enjoy training sober I think it's a nice change of pace in certain situations yeah so like if I'm going out for a day I won't be like oh yeah I'm training today gotta make sure I smoke a zoo like I don't <laughs> like I don't like training yeah, when I'm really high you know like, yeah, as a blanket, you gotta be a little as bit a, high as a blanket statement we don't do that no <laughs> we yeah, go out and we that, train yeah. sometimes we smoke weed so what? yeah but yeah this is what I'm saying like you could, you could I could be having a normal session maybe not feeling very creative and then zoo just changed up the mindset you look at things differently yeah that's exactly what happened to me in Bristol Oh, okay, which, yeah. which time? Do you remember the line we filmed on the cam? For Oldie. Oh, the foot, like, not the, last time we were there. Oh, the, no, you weren't there that time. Time before. Time before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like, I got to the spot, and I was feeling a little bit, like, like you said, like... I remember you were trying that 360 pre for ages. Oh, that no, that, time? that wasn't that time. Oh, that wasn't that time. Okay. It was when I did the long line down. Yeah. Yeah. It was one of those things, like, I started off looking at just one challenge, and then, because I was so, like, zoned in on it, like, I don't know... I, I literally didn't talk to anyone for the duration of me working out that yeah. like lying down it was because I was just like honed in on it like, yeah, see, that's what, I didn't want to talk to anyone this was the thing I was super just involved with yeah. the, see with that's the what I'm more like when I'm sober I'm yeah. more like because I'm I know that's the thing I want to do Yeah, I'm set on that like I just mm. stick to like I don't need to talk to anyone like if I talk to someone it'll be mostly it'll probably be about what I'm trying to do Yeah, and then I'll just like stick to that like the whole time yeah. whereas while high I feel like I get more I'm easily distracted. Yeah, 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 yeah. What were you going to say? for you were going to say something. Uh, I, I like the few times I've trained high is like I actually do kind of get the same thing that Jamie gets. Like I feel more focused in on what I'm trying to do because mm. um, I get distracted very easily. Like when I'm trying to do something scary, me too. It really pisses me off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the few times I've trained high and I'm trying to do something scary, it does like feel like I'm more focused in. But the thing for me is when I like maybe the next day. Or something like if I've smoked a lot of weed the next the day before and I go out the next day, it's like that my brain is like everywhere. It's like I can't. Oh, do yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, weed overs. Stone over. Stone yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally, I just can't. I, well, I can't. I, actually, I can more so now, but like before, I just couldn't. Hungover though, from alcohol. I have some of my best training days, so I don't yeah, know how. Not me. I do. I did. You, <laughs> you just start, I just start training, and then I start like sweating. I sweat a lot when I'm hungover while training, and it feels like I'm sweating all the alcohol, and then my concentration level just like goes way up. And then I also get this. I also tend to not because I know I'm hungover. I'm like, well, I won't go crazy today. I'll just like you know have fun, and then I tend to do the challenges I wouldn't normally put do. Less pressure on it. Exactly, and I also yeah, I put less pressure, and I also do shit, do new shit that I wouldn't normally do because I'm like, oh, that looks kind of fun. I'll just give that a little go. You saw me before we drove back from Plymouth. <laughs> you really think I could train like that? Yeah. You really? <laughs> Wait, you were a mess. <laughs> so we recently went to Plymouth to see the boy Ethan because he goes to uni there, um, and obviously there's good spots there, so we love training there as well. And there was a Halloween party that we went to. <laughs> uh, at Ethan's house and uh, we didn't really know anyone there so we just got kind of well we knew the, the scruffy boys that turned up and then obviously Ethan and then Aiden was with us as well and um, and then so we obviously just like you know vibed with ourselves <laughs> we somehow we all had the same amount of drinks but Jamie got really drunk <laughs> and we had this little like walk we, we, we had like a Aliens versus Cowboys party that we went to like maybe three months before how many months ago? I don't know, ages irrelevant. before. Eight, irrelevant, ages before. Uh, but we bought like loads of cow- like water pistol guns that were shaped like cowboy guns. And Jamie brought that to this Halloween party. And then he just spent the whole time <laughs> shooting random people with his water pistol. And they were all just getting so pissed off. He, and he was just there just like, tee hee hee, tee hee, pew pew pew. It was so crazy. There's got to be some clips. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. There was a clip of this poor guy who didn't know who he was. He fell asleep on the sofa. And everyone was playing Buck and Bronco on him pretty much, so they were putting a bunch of shit on him. 
So like when he woke up, it would all just go everywhere. And then Aiden was filming it. And then literally, as soon as he kind of came to, came around, Jamie just sprayed him directly <laughs> yeah. in the face with a water pistol. And he was seeing so vexed. And like. also he had like a cat. So Ryan put a can of beer on his head. He had a sock on his face. He had a bunch of like other random shit, like plates and shit on his stomach. And he woke up, he was like, beer must have fallen, spilt on him. And he was like, what the fuck? And then Jamie just sprays him <laughs> in the face. And he just does this, he's just like, <laughs> I cannot be held accountable. You can be held accountable. <laughs> straight Aiden's good. literally got a clip of you doing that. Yeah, yeah. Aiden's clip makes me. Co- I've got a clip of Aiden, <laughs> which is really funny. So like this guy's like here, like where Dylan is on the sofa, and Aiden's got his fucking phone torch like this. <laughs> Aiden's like filming him with a beer so this is his beer this is his phone phone talks in his face like this like this like mm, mm, just trying to put it like on his face and it's just so like I don't know how the guy didn't wake up because honestly like it must have been blinding if he woke up with the flash in his face he would like he would be like whoa but yeah we also got clips there so gnarly <laughs> check the recent insta post on fifth unit for like three of those clips yeah a few and then I got a couple on the cam. Some of the yeah, the cam, yeah. the cam stuff is going in somewhere. Secret, 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 secret spot in Bristol. Yeah, to relate it back to our line is But yeah, another really cool. Speaking of videos, cool video Orlando Insta Insta compilation might be one of the best videos this year, even though it's just an Insta compilation. <laughs> Which is actually really crazy. It blows my mind that it is an Insta compilation. Yeah, trust me, all the clips, could be all the clips are bid. so mad. Yeah, like one the one eighty that he does at IMAX that him and all, uh, and uh, oh, yeah. Dilla did. It's Can fucking crazy. It? Can we watch it? Yeah, we'll watch it. Mm. Thoughts on the video? Crazy stuff. That video, really fucking good. I think Orlando. Yeah. I personally think Orlando could be one of the best in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Big yeah. time. I I can't even disagree. I'll argue it to this day, but no one's disagreeing with me. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't Actually, no. Well, he's got one of the biggest jumps, right? He's got Sweet a huge 180, which is rare. Not everyone has a huge 180, but he has a huge 180. Like it's like or like I don't know about like it's probably like almost as big as Tim's, and Tim is like the biggest 180 in the yeah. world. Um, he has so many tricks. Like he doesn't do them all the time, but like he can. Yeah. He does calls like they're nothing. He does like scoop falls back. They back pop falls out of everything. Yeah, his side prees are crazy he can do like Rudy's he can do like double falls and shit he doesn't do them all the time but he can um, yeah and he's yeah. also just got the maddest tech yeah the maddest tech maddest also, tech he also just has such a good understanding of like what he can do like when you train with him he literally looks at something he like maybe does like a prep and he's like oh this is what I'd do if I bail it and then just does it yeah and it's fine it's amazing it's some mental fortitude yeah big time you know who I like training with Leon yeah. He was really creative. Yeah. No one's very creative. Yeah, he was forced to be because of his injury. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Same as Marcus Dale. Yeah. Same as Abdullah. Yeah, but Abdullah's come out of his injury. Now he has, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, big time. But, but I think the injury was actually such a good thing for his training. Yeah. Overall, like genuinely. Yeah, I think so too. I think he's done well. I think uh, it's definitely peak that he got injured, but also at the same time, like his his style has dramatically improved based on the injury. Yeah, I think he'd still be crazy good even if he didn't get injured. But I think like the way he trained would be different. So like the yeah. effort he'd put into stuff and the way he like moves would be way different. Yeah, the effortlessness that he puts into stuff is fucking cool. Mm. Right? Did you have any anything else? Yeah, your mum. <laughs> you talk about my mum. Ah. Yeah, man. So Sheila has recently asked me to teach her parkour. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I wanted to um, just get your reaction live. I think um, it's probably just an excuse to like get closer to you, Chris. I, that's what I thought you'd yeah. say. That's what I thought as well. In fact, that's what she told me. Yeah. She was that's literally like. So you know what's really strange is Steve messaged me. Really. <laughs> yeah, and he wanted me to teach him parkour. Really. Ah. Yeah. See, that might be an attempt to get closer to my mum, uh, who's <laughs> being trained by Chris. So, uh, I think you're being so used, it's not James. About me. No, yeah, I think you're being used. But there was a, he said a paragraph had a heart in it. And a heart? Oh! Yeah, it was pretty Oh, intense. Dad. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's done it again. James He's done it again. Come on, Steve. Steve. What's Steve been doing? I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Love you, Steve and Sheila. Yeah, big ups. Right, so, G Found Clothing. They released... A t-shirt, a long sleeve, and a hat. Yeah. It's really cool. I really liked it. I also like the drawing, like, 
the way they did the website and also the mobile site's pretty good actually but mm. I don't quite like I, the, I like the fact they drew the t-shirt like for the site like, they drew it and then the picture that you see is the t-shirt drawn but then they also had the photos which I thought was cool because it then goes with the design of the site and then you also get yeah. actual photos of what it looks like yeah I think it is cool the drawing but it is just a bit like on initial like Honestly, when you yeah, first see definitely. it it's like like oh Why? it's not the actual product it's yeah. just a drawing of it's, it it's jarring because you don't get a concept of how big it is yeah or yeah. like what it actually looks like it's just a like the sizing it's but just, obviously yeah. you get to click the photos and once you do that then it's cool because you get to see all like the shapes and the designs i think the designs are really fucking cool actually yeah same i think the font is really cool the gfam tape is sick on the back yeah um i like the long sleeve I really like the long sleeve. The long sleeve like has it. something on the sides. I think it's coordinates on the side. It looks cool. like coordinates. Do you reckon it's a spot? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a spot in Germany. On the web page? I can't get on the web page. Unlucky. It says available yeah. soon. It's not published yet. Apparently. I really like the long sleeve. I'm not personally the biggest fan of shit down the sleeves. Me neither. Uh, At least of all that's, writing. That's literally just my opinion. But saying that, I think in these photos, it does actually look quite cool. Yeah. Also, I really like... Stink. That photo, I really yeah. like. It's just Simon with his hands on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cool. Um, yeah, I really like the way the like the cartoon. What well, I don't know how would you describe that cartoon text like drawing. Yeah. Almost towards like graph style, but not really. Yeah, yeah, like just like I don't know if you were gonna put it into categories of like graffiti's way up, like quite a bit more edgy, like for lack of a better word, edgy. Yeah. This is quite like you know cartoony, like laid down, like yeah, accessible. yeah, a bit more fun. Yeah. Bit more fun, which I quite like. I uh, yeah, I also like you don't like the writing down the sides, and I also don't know what the coordinates are for, <laughs> so I don't know what that means. But at the same time, it doesn't really take away from how cool the things are. And they're actually well, so the long sleeve is 40 euros, which is actually that's, not like, that's like 30 all. something pounds. So that's yeah. not that's not bad for a long sleeve, actually. And the t shirts are yeah. like 33 euros, which makes it like 20 something. Pounds. Well, that's only 25 euros. Actually, it's priced really well. Ooh, nice. nice, guys. And no zips to break. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Aiden, I've seen the hand person that has actually fucking sick, to be fair. I've seen it all in person, to be fair. It's all really cool. Yeah, big up. Yeah, oh, big one. up. Big ups, guys. You we wish we could it. be as cool as you. Also, they released a video to go along with the clothing <clears throat> in Barcelona. I don't know if it was specifically to go along with the clothing, but they're wearing the clothing in the video. And the video was really cool. So big ups for that. Jamie liked the video. Yeah, I did earlier. really like the video, and you said earlier that. Yeah, I was gonna. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought there was a lot of filler and not as many clips, but that doesn't take away from how good the video is. Yeah. It was just that I started watching. It. I was like, oh sweet, this is gonna be quite a nice, like little viewing. And then I watched like what felt like six percent of filler. Did and you then... really think that when you sat down? Yeah, no, I did. I was like, oh, cool. Nice. Is, no, no, no. I thought, oh, this would be cool. Because it's like four minutes, isn't it? Four minutes or five minutes. I was like, okay, sweet. And then because it was mostly filler, I didn't. I did. Basically, I didn't feel like I got my five minutes worth of clips. Yeah. I felt mm. like I got like two minutes. So when it ended, I was like, oh, that's the end. Yeah. And it felt like it cut off really short because there was like a lack of clips, a better word. But at the same time, it was fucking sick. And also, they went to Barcelona, you can't always get all the clips yeah. was it kind of like more of a lookbook as no. well though no no, no, no. Oh, okay. straight straight parkour bit. yeah it was like vibes like vibey section long build up yeah long, I'd like, say it was mostly, long, mostly clips, long build up which I really enjoy yeah. I personally really like that I, also I, love, really I love getting an in look to the to the trip me too yeah. I yeah. also like, like I like I like the ratio ba- I like the ra- yeah. I like, yeah I like the ratio yeah. if that makes sense I like there to be as many clips as there is filler yeah if that makes sense because that way it's kind of like backed up which I think there was I'd say it was a good 50-50 split <gasps> nah do you I'd really not think I, no I think 60-40 okay we'll settle for 55-45 okay <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll run the numbers we'll go <laughs> on YouTube and I'll watch it and I'll be like, I'll be like oh yeah three minutes filler two minutes clips <laughs> <laughs> nah but again it's a fucking sick video. All yeah. those boys always kill it. The clips were the clips, hard. The clips are hard. The filler was good. Yeah. The whole thing was fucking sick. The song was sweet. And it was... Uh, and it was my preference. For some reason, I like to have, like, filler and clips to, like, match up. It's either same time length or just, like, more clips than filler. Yeah. Mostly. No, I got you. Which Basically, is... I got really excited because you guys are really good. And then I was like, shit, it's over. 
Yeah, fair. The only problem with the video idea. is there wasn't exactly. Long yeah. <laughs> exactly. And it's quite a big problem. Fix it. <laughs> Fix it <something laughs> sharp. <laughs> I say that, but then a lot of our clip videos are just fucking filler. Yeah. Big time. You seen the grease edit, mate? You seen the poop edit? <laughs> <laughs> seen the poop edit? <laughs> Lots of filler. <laughs> lots of filler. Actually, lots of clips though. To be fair, Plymouth, no, Plymouth said it was good. Good ratio. Yeah, I'd say so. I think Grease said it. I don't know, because it was so long. Yeah. There was a lot of filler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's that hard might be... to do one that long without a lot of filler. You yeah. also use a long, like, the filler that you use is long filler. Like, it's not just, like, five second clip, it's, like, sometimes 20 second clip. The onion bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of run up that video, definitely the the least viewed fit unit video <laughs> we've ever posted. I think. Ah, uh, I doubt it. Have you seen in the podcast views? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's different. Like though. an hour long. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. In summary, we live in Brighton now. We're cool. So yeah, come down. Come yeah, down. Yeah. If you ever train Brian, message one of us. Don't message me. Don't message James. <laughs> message me because I'm always about <laughs> looking for someone to train with. So I'll be gassed if someone's like, I want to train with you. Anyone so. who messages me on Insta, tell them to message Chris. Yeah, that, that <laughs> I'm always just like Chris is always about that, messaging. That does happen. That's happened twice now. Yeah, more often than not, there's a spot on this sofa. In it. Could be me. you sleeping there. <laughs> Could be you on this sofa. For the small, small price. Training so, £20 per so night. So many men have slept on this sofa. Yeah, so Far many. Far too many men. A lot of many men have had sex on that sofa. Oh, uh, yeah, they have. <laughs> Not me. Not me. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting on it. I haven't, had, I haven't had sex on the sofa. I never have. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? No. That's okay, a lie. So none of us have. No, I haven't. Does anyone here not had sex on the sofa? <laughs> <laughs> Bid. And end of podcast. <laughs> Beautiful. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.